हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस इज अबाउट ए एम सी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज विच इज बेस्ड आउट ऑफ बैंगलोर एंड आई एम गोइंग टू रिव्यू दिस कॉलेज विद रेस्पेक्ट टू ऑल इम्पॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट्स एंड दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ ए एम सी ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन विच हैज मेनी कॉलेजेस सो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक स्पेसिफिकली अबाउट ए एम सी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज विच इज गुड न्यूज दैट नाउ इट इज इट इज एन ऑटोनॉमस इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज इन कर्नाटका एंड बैंगलोर and in terms of its nac accreditation it's a nac a plus college and it's most of the csc and ec courses are nb accredited right and talking about the campus culture it is like a quite big beautiful campus so in terms of establishment this college was started in 1999 and it's a aict approved private uh, engineering college which is not auto autonomous and it's affiliated with vtu so campus is around 52 acres on the baner ghata main road right so quite good size campus and very near to baner ghata national park and it has a roman style architecture with all the necessary facilities on the campus itself for both boys and girls so this is how the campus looks on you can see it is located uh, very close to banagata national park and uh, uh, these are some of the pictures of the administrative block hostel blocks engineering block you know and cricket ground central library and overall so let me give you a short campus tour also so now talking about the different programs which are offered the many csc and csc related specializations are available so first is computer science and engineering csc core then there is a csc aiml branch which is also there csc data science branch is there and the fourth one is aiml so there are four distinct computer related branches then you get aeronautical engineering mechanical engineering civil engineering ec engineering and triple engineering so almost 9 10 branches are there same goes with the pg program they have mtech course available mca mba and phd so those are the options available 
talking specifically about the engineering college and uh, engineering courses total nine branches as i mentioned and this is the latest seat matrix of this year so there are total 1170 seats and branch wise if you see aiml branch has 180 seats computer science engineering with aiml branch is 180 seats so total 360 and there are 360 seats directly for computer science engineering so total 720 seats and then 120 seats for data science so close to one eight close to 840 seats are only for csc branches so lot lot of seats available and apart from that they have ec mechanical civil aeronautical which has lesser number of seats 60 to 30 seats so this is the overall breakup out of which 527 seats are through KEA exam or KSET exam and 30% of 1170 which is close to you know 400 seats are also available for the Comet K admission process so that is the overall seat matrix which I show and now in terms of the fee structure again fee structure this is uh, varying from branch to branch for Comet K so for uh, aeronautical engineering for four years fees can be as low as 7.54 lakhs but for the other branches which is computer science ai ml and all those things it could be up to 14 lakhs i am uh, talking about including this year's fee structure right with all the increases it can go up to 14 lakhs similarly for mca it again depends on the modes of admission like PG set or KMET it can go up to 1 lakhs to 3.5 lakhs for MBA the tuition fees total for two years program can be around 5 to 6 lakhs and for the MTech programs which is like uh, for a two, um, two years course it could be between 2 lakhs to 5.81 depending on which branch you are taking it and if it is through admission process like PG seat or it is through the uh, management quota so it has both the fees now talking about the hostel fees so hostel fees for last year for the male student was around 96000 rupees per year so there could be 10% increase in the hostel fees similarly for the fees female students it will be higher like 1.16 lakhs per year now talking about the placement details which are available uh, on the college uh, you know portal or website so it's uh, taken from their website the type of companies which are visiting here are are not the you know all other mass recruiters but some of the good companies like uh, Practo you know and uh, uh, like Amazon a few students are there and then there are mass recruiters like Wipro, Infotech, IBM, Capgemini those are few mass recruiters including Tech Mahindra, Mindtree and so on so these are some of the lists which are shown there and some of the companies you see here like ICICI bank those are typically coming from MBA and MCA similar goes with ITC, HAL some of the companies are for MBA, MCA and most of the engineering side companies are for the BTEC students overall now talking about the placement information again this is taken from their main uh, portal which says that uh, uh, you know the total number of students placed is 95% which could not be true it um, the maximum placement could be around 40 to 50 percent right so that is what you can think and the highest salary for last year was 30 lakhs and median salary around 5.5 lakhs so placement you can understand it could be less than for 50 percent ideally 40 to 50 percent you can go for only csc related branches in these colleges so that's all thanks for watching please do subscribe channel to get similar updates Take care and bye.